Hey guys, it's Fani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and today I want to share with you my preschool five senses mini unit study. If you're new to my channel, I produce videos every Monday with the theme of teaching your preschooler at home. On Wednesdays, you can find motherhood videos and on Fridays, you can find homeschooling videos. So make sure you subscribe and check out my playlist for more. In today's video, I wanna share with you my five senses mini unit study for preschoolers. I am a homeschooling mom to three children, two of which I homeschool. I have a third grader who is eight years old and I have a preschooler who is four years old. I also teach at a homeschool co-op, a preschool class, with the curriculum that I created called Teaching Your Preschooler Through Creation. And this unit study will eventually be out for sale, but for now I'm sharing you the mini lessons within these videos. So we have been studying our five senses and I want to share with you just some of the things that we have been doing to learn about these five senses with my three, four, and five year olds. The first thing I did was read the census called My Five Senses. In this book, your children will learn about their five senses and how they teach us about our world. It teaches the children how to use their senses to do things like smell a rose or play with a puppy. The first sense we talked about was the sense of sight. And I purchased these little mirrors off of Amazon. You can find the link for them in the description below. They're little wooden mirrors and the children are able to decorate them with markers. Make sure you take off the plastic film because the kids couldn't see clearly through it and I thought it was just like a cheap mirror, but it's actually a pretty clear mirror. There's a little plastic film on the mirror you have to remove. And I had them look at themselves in the mirror and look at their eye. And we talked about the different parts of the eye and what they were called. And then I had them move their eyes up and down, move to the left, try to blink with one eye, how to cross their eyes. And then we started talking about how important your sense of sight was. I sat them down at the table and I had them draw a picture, a simple picture of anything they wanted. Then I told them to flip the paper over and close their eyes. And I had them redraw that same picture with their eyes closed. The pictures were adorable and hilarious as they saw how important it was to be able to see what they were doing in order to draw that picture. The next thing we did was an obstacle course. We had them first complete it with their eyes open and then try to complete it with their eyes closed. They, at this time, began to use their hands to feel around and we were able to talk about our sense of touch and how when you don't have your eyesight, your sense of touch can help you see the world around you or feel the world around you. Then we talked about our sense of hearing. I had this bin of instruments. I would shake one instrument. I then had the kids turn around. I will hold up two instruments and I would ask them which instrument they chose. Most of the time they got it right, but sometimes they did get it wrong. Next thing we did was focus on our sense of smell. And I read this book to the children. It talks about how smell can warn you of danger, how having a cold makes it harder to smell things, how taste and smell are linked, how animals use their sense of smell. It's a very simple book with vivid pictures and short sentences that your preschooler will enjoy. Then we talked about the sense of touch. And I had little brown bags and inside of them I had different toys. I had the children stick their hands inside the bags and try to figure out what the toy was by just using their sense of touch. And then the last test that we had was the sense of taste. This is another book just like the first one. I will link these books in the description below along with the instruments that I've used and anything else you see in my videos will always be linked in the description below. So the book about taste talks about how does taste work, talks about all the different kinds of taste, and it even has some words to know in the back. This, of course, was the kids' favorite part. We had a little taste test. We had something sour, which was a lemon. We had something bitter, which was dark chocolate. We had something spicy, which was cinnamon candy. And of course, we had something sweet, which were regular sweet chocolate chips. I printed out a picture of the label, for example, salty or sweet or bitter, put it in the middle of the table and had them taste the food that matched the picture. So if I put the picture of salty down, I would put out potato chips and the kids would taste potato chips and think about how their taste buds felt, what they tasted and how it was salty. We, we discussed this a little bit. These were my five experiments of our five senses that I did with preschoolers and I hope you guys enjoyed that little mini unit study. 
Next week, we'll we be talking about my All About Me mini unit that you can do with your preschooler at home. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the other videos and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video.